All right, this is problem 5.7.31, and we're asked to factor, and we have fractions. And so whenever we're, we're factoring and there's fractions in the problem, you know, you always start these problems by looking for a greatest common factor. And with the fractions, the way that you'll identify if there's a greatest common factor or not is you'll start by taking a look at the numbers in the denominator. And if the numbers in the denominator share something in common, then there is a greatest common factor. And you'll have to then move to the numerator to decide, you know, what the numerator numbers share in common, okay, to figure out what you're going to take out. So in this problem, if we look at the 256, the 64, and the 16, we can see that these numbers share in common a 16. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write that down in the denominator. And I know that at, at the minimum, I'm going to be taking out a 1 16th. If the numerators share something bigger than a 1, then I would take out whatever it is that they share in common. Okay, so if I look at the numerators, the 1, the 18, and the 81, they share at most, the biggest thing that they share is a 1. <clears throat> And so I'm going to be taking out a 1 16th um, for, the, for the numbers there. And there is no GCF for the variables, so those will just stay um, the way that they are. Okay. All right, so now when we pull out the 1 16th, we're thinking about, you know, with fractions, you multiply straight across. We're thinking about 1 times what to get the 1 back. It would be 1. And 16 times what would give me 256 if I was distributing here? It would be 16. Okay, so I'm going to have 1 over 16, v to the 6th. And then I would have, um, for the next fraction, 18 over 4 um, <clears throat> for the second fraction. And, and that's because 1 times 18 gives me the 18, and 16 times the 4 gives me the 64, okay? And this would be v cubed. And then for the last one here, it would just be plus 81. And that's because the 1 over 16 times 81 would just give us 81, okay? All right, so that is with the greatest common factor pulled out. Now we need to try and factor the inside, okay? So what we're going to do is think about, you know, we want to think about the different factors of 16. So you have either 8 times 2 or 4 times 4. Since the middle denominator here is a 4, I know that I'm going to be splitting this up as 1 fourth and 1 fourth. And the v to the 6th we're going to split up as v to the 3rd and v to the 3rd. And the 81 we have options of um, 9 times 9, 81 times 1, or 3 times 27. I'm going to go ahead and try the 9 and the 9. And the reason for that is because I can see here my outside would give me 9 fourths v cubed. My inside portion of foil would give me 9 fourths v cubed. Okay, And if I'm looking for a middle term of negative 18 over 4, we can get that if both these 9's are negative. And, <clears throat> and let's check our signs for the last portion of FOIL here and see if this works. A negative 9 times a negative 9 is a positive 81. So this is our factorization right here. Um, you, can, you can leave it this way or you know the program may require you, I didn't actually read what their directions were, the program may require you to write it in the um, condensed form. But as far as I'm concerned, um, you know, either of these are valid answers and my math lab may want you to input it one way or another, but they mean the same thing. Okay, and that's it in that problem.